Hey, well, we don't have any hard numbers on exactly how many people were at the rally in support of House Bill 2, but I would estimate that there were far more than what we saw earlier today that are in opposition to that group. We're talking potentially thousands of people supporting the law, it's specifically talking about the section of the law that deals with uh, what bathroom people can go to based on their gender uh, that's on their birth certificate. Now, we spoke to a number of people who, once again, are, were both organizers and ralliers who said that they were backing the governor and other lawmakers who signed House Bill too, because they believe that it protects the privacy and safety of women and young girls while in places like bathrooms and locker rooms. Now, that's one part of House Bill 2, but the law also does a number of other things, including stopping local governments from setting their own minimum wage, keeping those local governments from setting their own discrimination ordinances, and stopping employees from filing discrimination lawsuits in state court. That last aspect, Governor McCrory issued an executive order asking the legislators to repeal it. Now, here's what House Bill 2 supporters have had to say about those other parts of this law. Um, I'm not as familiar with those. I've read some of the other parts of the law. I'm stopping uh, when I go out of here to talk with my senator and get a little more clarification on the full, uh, full law. I think they need to leave the law alone. Uh, our representative body came together and decided based on the input they received from the people in North Carolina. This is the law that we should put in place. Governor signed that law. And uh, I think at this point in time, it's good law. Now, there was a push today for uh, folks that were at that rally in support of House Bill 2 to go to their local legislators while they're here in Raleigh and show them why they are once again supporting that law. There was also a call uh, for folks to boycott uh, some of the companies that have been pushing back against House Bill 2. All that happening today as there were once again thousands of people voicing their support for House Bill 2. Reporting live in Raleigh, Jared Hill, WXII 12 News.